I, I was delighted uh, to have been involved in the organization of this event. Uh, it was uh, uh, organized by uh, Professor Atchison uh, and myself, in conception at least. Uh, but uh, as you've seen, this is an event that depended on the volunteerism and uh, the initiative and the insight and scholarship of our colleagues who gave these talks, uh, from which uh, I learned so much. Uh, I'd really like to express uh, our thanks to them for stepping up and doing this. Uh, it's also very important to mention that uh, staff in the Dean of Arts office, uh, Julianne Sanudo, Wendy Philpot, uh, and uh, s staff from the uh, uh, Audiovisual uh, Center who've spent their day here recording this, hopefully so it will be available uh, for the, the entire community soon. Uh, without their efforts, this doesn't happen. Uh, and it's an expression of their commitment uh, to the university and to student experience uh, and the community that, that, it, that it did happen as it did. Uh, and I realize I've forgotten Andrea Shreddy was also involved. Uh, is, are, are there other people that, that I should be thanking but, but didn't other than our There's attendees? Claire. Oh, and Claire Prime, of course. I, I'm so sorry. And Claire. Claire Prime, uh, uh, who works with uh, Wendy in, in the Dean of Arts office. Uh, my experience hearing these talks has been, I think, like yours, uh, one of uh, appreciation at the, at the education and also, of course, uh, frequently uh, shock and sadness at the phenomena being described. Uh, each of these talks individually that I heard was outstanding. Uh, when I put them together, I get a much clearer sense of uh, a, a disparate, heterogeneous, but clearly also unified phenomenon that we can understand from so many different perspectives, which is indeed one of the strengths of a faculty like ours, is precisely seeing uh, complicated phenomena from many perspectives through the lens of many different kinds of expertise. Um, uh, reflecting on the kinds of things that uh, uh, Professor Roy talked about, that uh, Professor Day talked about, that Professor Epp talked about, I'm struck by phenomena like that we are just now uh, beginning the, the uh, Canadian Armed Forces is beginning an inquiry into the deaths of four uh, people uh, who died in three different locations, each under different circumstances, uh, between May and August of this year. They are rightly launching an inquiry into the deaths of military students and people who've recently graduated from military academies, precisely because they're interested in the question of whether there is a unifying underlying systemic explanation for those four deaths over four months. At the same time that we're looking in this country at the deaths of over 2,000 missing or murdered uh, indigenous women over many decades in the face of relentless calls for investigation. These kinds of contrasts speak more strongly to the existence of rape culture and the significant depth of the phenomenon uh, than any individual talk could do, it seems to me, but they only come into sharp relief when we hear from many people sharing their expertise on it. So I'm very, very grateful to all of them as well. Uh, Kathy, you wanna? Yeah, I think uh, we just wanna say that we're most grateful for all the people who have been here. There have been 70, 80, 90 people here at any moment today, uh, and uh, we're uh, really amazed b uh, by what has happened and in a sense overwhelmed. I think that as Tim has pointed out, the, the layering of all of the perspectives and uh, phenomena that people talked about today um, is so powerful that um, probably you'll wanna keep talking about some things. So uh, the videos will be made available as soon as we can make them available. And uh, I, the contact uh, emails of the people who, have sp uh, who spoke today are on the program that um, piles of which are scattered around the space. Um, otherwise, we'll be here putting the chairs back together. <laughs> so um, feel free to, to talk to us and talk, to talk to each other. So thank you so much.